Hello and welcome to Gym Lab Bab Stoplight Music Theory with Blinker. Most things that Americans do differently than British people are usually Britain did it first, brought it over to the United States, and then Britain stopped doing it and forgot to tell America. However, note durations are an exception. In Britain, the note duration names are taken from, I believe, the old Latin names for the notes, and the American notation names are taken from German, which are divisions of the whole note. The longest one I can think of is the longa, long, longe. Hello, less past gym lap app, into correct more past gym lap app. Yes, these are from medieval mensural notation names, but the longest is the maxima, which is actually twice as long as the longa. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced because I don't think I've ever heard it said out loud. L-O-N-G-E. Hello again, less past gym lap bap, into correct more past gym lap bap. It's longa, L-O-N-G-A, not L-O-N-G-E. I don't even know if we've got this note in the American notation system, or if we just call it a long, but it is the equivalent to four whole notes. And then half of that is the breathe, which in the American notation you say a double whole note. I guess the long could be a quadruple whole note because at least in modern notation there aren't many things notated in eight quarter notes anymore so I guess we just don't use the long notations as much anymore. The whole note in Britain is the semi-breathe because it's half of a breathe and then everything in the American system is divided from the whole note. The half note in British English is a minim which I guess used to be the minimum minimum duration, but since the shorter lengths have become more common in practice, that's no longer the minimum, I believe. I'm not sure. The eighth note is the, hello again, LPJ, and the correct MPJ again. I forgot crotchet. That's a quarter note. I actually have no idea where the name comes from because from the crotchet onward, they differ from the mensural notation. I don't know what it means because it's not crochet. Crochet doesn't have T in the middle, so anyone knows where crotchet come from, even less past Jim Lab Bap and to correct less past Jim Lab Bap, or just to clarify, uh, it does actually come from the same root as crochet. It, it means hook. It's like the stem coming off of the note. It makes it look like a hook. Quaver, which uh, quaver means to shake or to tremble because I believe it used to be the fastest note there was. But of course, again, since we do a lot of shorter beats now, that's not even close to the shortest beat duration we have. Everything in the British English system is divisions of the quaver from then on. So an eighth note is a quaver, a sixteenth note is a semi-quaver, a thirty-second note is a demi-semi-quaver, sixty-fourth note is a hemi-demi-semi-quaver, and a hundred and twenty-eighth note, I've heard two ways. I heard you either start over with the semi, semi, hemi, demi, semi, or you can say quasi hemi demi semi quaver, and you just keep going with the prefixes for half until you get to the ridiculous things, you know, 496 notes, just like they're just as ridiculous in the American English system. There you have it. This is one thing Americans do that we didn't steal from Britain and Britain stopped doing.